Kurumi from five years ago. That design is so damn good. Yo, we had a Kurumi section. Kurumi talking to Kurumi, even though usually there already is multiple Kurumis. But now there's like multiple Kurumis from the past. I don't know. There's so much more Kurumis, man. We can't get enough of that. Now, what's going to happen from here on out? Because after Shido basically yeeted Origami's parents, you know, to safety... That, does that mean that they're no longer dead? So they should be alive? Does that mean the future has been changed? So now he wakes up in bed. Kurumi is no longer talking to Shido through Ted. Therefore, he's back in the current timeline and everything has been solved. But I feel like it can't be that done easily, right? Let's begin today's reaction. White Ribbon Kotori. Kotori. This is... What's a Fraxinus? So we've altered the future so much. Spirits or Fraxness stuff like that doesn't exist. The day after her inversion. Fraxness no longer exists. For better or worse, but that means we can't see Toka, you know, and all everyone else now. But what about the other girls? Toka exists. Okay, so all the spirits are here. Okay, yeah, my twins are here. No, well, the Yuzuru has bigger. Where's Origami, though? Does she exist here? Uh, Toka, do you know who Origami is? No, she just doesn't go to the school. They skipped. Alright, Tonomachi. <laughs> Skipped origami. Hmm. They don't know who that is? So even if after we saved their parents, she just doesn't exist here anymore? Maybe they moved to a different city entirely? Hey, come on now. Is that a good thing? I mean, if she's living happily with her parents and yeah, no grudge against spirits, then that's a good ending, right? But something feels like we have to go back and kill her parents, so we have to go back to the normal timeline, man. Are we ever gonna see her smile? She's not gonna break that coup today uh, act, man. Right now, space quake alarm. Never mind. Wait, wait, wait. We're talking about... Wait, devil? Inverted spear... Spear to devil. Wait, what? This is probably origami. She still became a spirit hunter. Revenge against spirits. We thought it might be fixed if we saved the parents, but no. I guess, inevitably... Like, the timeline still changes such that Origami becomes a spirit hunter now. In for spirit? So all our efforts were wasted? Yeah, yeah, I thought... What color hair does she have? This is even more dangerous. Like, AST couldn't really do shit. Oh, longer hair though? Hello, but... Okay, so even if we try to change destiny, like, it'll kind of change, but some things will be still consistent. Transfer student? Origami. Long hair origami. Long hair origami or kurumi, give me... We saw that white hair. Damn. What the f- This is weird, man. That's not- That's not my origami. That smile is weird. Why are you smiling? Hey, you're cheating on your 2D girlfriend. But- The- Her voice? It's- 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 It's, it's kind of creeping me out. It's so different. I mean, I've had three scenes of Kude, right? This is so odd. But the design, though. Damn. Long hair like that? God damn. What do you mean? He's the main character. We always get transfer students as girls in these kind of shows. In the, she still joined the AST? She didn't know what Fraxinus was in the beginning, but I guess it's because she just had white ribbon on. I don't know. She left the AST. So somehow, a spirit must have killed Origami's parents. And then, join the AST? I, 
We need to confront her. Hey, are your parents still alive? What an awkward question to ask. You got any parents that's alive? Oh, a love note. I wonder if this origami would still be so into Shido. Because in the past, this is still the same origami that we still saved, right? She should remember his face kind of when we just fucking yeeted the parents, right? She was staring at Shido's face. I would imagine her to still remember some of that? This is so weird. This is so weird, man. Bring back my Kudere Origami. In the past. When I saved your parents? Because you're the same age. Yeah, and he hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. Plus? What? Well, he did get fucking nuked, but... Conflagration. Whoa, that's a big word. Because I am that... Uh, sure. That kind of works. I'm forever indebted to you. So, so your parents are still alive then? Or? Yeah, but then no... At that moment, yes, but I'm assuming they still died. <laughs> Jeez, but was it a spirit that caused that car accident? Or why would you have this motivation to kill them? Exactly. Even if you try to change it, inevitably it's gotta happen. The parents dying. Yeah, how do you know about this? Now it's gonna get sus. Uh, eh, how do you how do you get out of this one? Sure. Yeah, yeah, how convenient, sure. <laughs> First the big brother and out this. By the way, are you devil? <laughs> it was you in the future, but anyways. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, shit. It's not- Oh my god, it didn't matter at the end, because now the vengeance is just like, get revenge. Oh, no matter what, a future origami still kills someone, it things just get shifted a bit. Yeah. An inverted one, by any chance. You're a devil. Don't lie to me. It's, it's gotta be her, right? Or is she lying? Also, I... Would an inverted spirit just turn back to a normal human like this? Would Tenka would just turn back to a normal... I don't know. She feels too innocent and nice. Look at her caring about when class is gonna start. Who cares? Yeah, let's just ditch. A date? <laughs> you owe me because of my little brother. <laughs> well, maybe the inverted spirit's a totally different person, but I, yeah, I am also still the used to origami. This is weird. Not with another girl. Don't worry, baby girl. I wouldn't cheat on you. <laughs> Oh, it's a note. Oh, look at her blushing. I'm free this Saturday. I don't have a good feeling about this. If he wakes up, then what? Kurumi shows up. I want to see Kurumi again. Huh. Ara, ara. No shot! No shot! Oh, thank God. Hey, 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 it's, um, it's this haircut Kurumi, meaning it's the OVA Kurumi. Remember the, the one that, you know, we made a promise with? But I have a feeling that we have to use Yield Bet once more and just let her parents die normal. No, but how do we fix this? I don't know, man. 
She still remembers, yeah? In this world where no one else remembers, Kurumi still does. This is such a good bond we have together. Hmm? Ooh, astral dress. <laughs> is that tongue movement <laughs> important for the astral dress transformation? I'm just gonna shoot you, you know? Uh, Yoda is the one that we used on Miku's um, DVD, I mean, like, little case thing to remember the memories of the past kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, kind of true. What if it's two different people? I don't know. We took the hair clip. On the rooftop? Oh, I thought we'd be using Yoda on that. Oh no, she's gonna walk in on Shido and Kurumi and she's gonna be like, You're cheating on me already, even though we didn't go on a date. A spirit. Which change? Astral dress. Devil. I wanna see a fight between devil and nightmare. Come on. Change! The eyes! Yo, it's the boss theme playing again. It's Origami's boss theme playing again. It's almost as if she just lost control there and something else took over, right? Maybe it's two different personalities. She is always so regal with the introduction by lifting her dress like that. Inverted spirit, baby. Let's go. Damn. This design is so cool. I'm not gonna lie. I love the inverted spirit. I want to see Kurumi's inverted form, man. I mean, knowing Kurumi, it almost feels like she her base form is the inverted form, but it's like the dark, you know, evil side, right? I love that shit. Yeah, why'd you lie to me? To Shido? Why would you shoot Shido, though? Who's stronger, Devil or Kurumi? Ah, it's fine, another Kurumi will show up, right? Oh? That was quick. No, no, don't, don't end so quick. I want a more fight, but... Okay. She doesn't remember anything. It is almost like an other personality. Huh. She sees a spirit and she immediately transforms into inverted version. Hmm. This is tricky. Because I'm a Kurumi simp, I'm just going to assume that Kurumi didn't actually lose there. She just got hit and she's like, all right, this isn't worth my time. Bye. I'm going to give you guys free time because she probably understands that if he gets hit, then maybe Origami will transform back and that's what happened. Maybe this is extra coping from me, but holy, this Origami is so different. Man, three seasons of this Kudere just monotone, never smiling, but funny. I, I, I grew so much to that, right? Now this Origami is like your typical nice, cute, kind girl, but something about the feels makes me feel creeped out by it. Although the long hair design, I do love it. Now, we are in the future and her parents, even though we saved her, they inevitably die. And the revenge is no longer about her parents. It's about, you know, Shido that died, even though he didn't. So no matter what we do in the past, we can change some things. However, other things stay consistent in the fact that, you know, Origami still has this vengeance. So how can we fix this? We can't fix it. It's like destiny, right? We really can't change it. Even though we did change it, fundamentally, some things stay the same. I have a feeling that we have to go back because I don't think we're going to continue a story on like this with the current Origami. I feel like we're going to have to use Yodbet again or... Maybe we just give Origami a haircut and we give her some shock therapy and she goes back to Kudere form. I don't know. I do love the devil design. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.